So 2024 is almost here, and so I wanted to create this little shout out video to shout out some other really great Blender YouTubers who are creating some really cool videos and tutorials. Now there are a lot of really great Blender YouTubers out there, so of course there are going to be many other great Blender YouTubers who are not on this list, but I just picked some channels that I thought were creating some really cool videos. And if you have any favorite Blender channels that I didn't mention on this list, then definitely let us all know in the comments. And then stick to the end of the video where I'll also be mentioning two other YouTube channels which are not Blender related but they're channels that I wanted to give a shout out. Alright so the first channel is Curtis Holt. So Curtis Holt creates some really cool art project videos, he also creates some different videos about tools for Blender, and he makes some cool other Blender projects. And Curtis Holt also has a cool Blender community roundup series where he finds cool Blender projects and Blender artworks that the community is creating and he creates these roundup videos where he goes through and shows you what the community has been creating. So if you'd like to see what other people are doing within the Blender community, different Blender products and tools and different art projects, then definitely check out his community roundup videos. Now Curtis Holt also has a second YouTube channel that I wanted to mention called Kurt Studio. And on this channel, he creates some very interesting discussion videos and mindset videos. And as a fellow Blender YouTuber, I find these kind of discussion videos very interesting and I find them very insightful. So I did want to mention this channel as well, you might find these interesting. Alright, the next channel I wanted to mention is Arendelle, and Arendelle creates lots of geometry node tutorials. So if you're wanting to learn more about geometry nodes and learn how to create different things with geometry nodes and learn the different tools and what the different nodes do, then I definitely recommend this tutorial for learning more about geometry nodes. And I'm still trying to wrap my head around geometry nodes. I find geometry nodes pretty technical and a bit complex, so I've definitely been watching some of his videos to learn more about geometry nodes. Alright, the next channel is Ducky3D, and Ducky3D creates lots of looping animations, abstract art, and geometry node tutorials. So his art style is usually very futuristic and abstract, and he also has a lot of tutorials where he uses geometry nodes to create really cool animations. So if you're looking to create this type of artwork, and if you're wanting to learn more about geometry nodes and also create different looping animations, then I definitely recommend Ducky3D. Alright, so the next channel is Blender Guru, and I can highly recommend Blender Guru for any beginners out there. So when I first started learning Blender way back in 2016, I watched so many of Blender Guru's tutorials, and I really do think he does a good job at explaining Blender for beginners. And every time a major release of Blender comes out, he creates a Blender Donut tutorial series for beginners, and so as you learn the basics of Blender, you'll create this cool donut scene. So I highly recommend this for beginners, I really do think that Blender Guru does a great job at explaining how to use Blender for beginners. Alright, the next channel is Pixo3D, and Pixo3D has a large variety of different content. So he has lots of different videos like beginner fundamentals, he also has some character tutorials and some looping animation videos, and he covers a large variety of different content to create. So definitely check out Pixo3D for lots of Blender tutorials. And the next channel is Josh Gambrel, and Josh Gambrel specializes in sci-fi and hard surface modeling tutorials. So if you like creating sci-fi artworks, if you like creating different robots and different mechanical objects, and just doing lots of hard surface models, Modeling, then I definitely recommend this channel for learning how to create all sorts of robots and hard surface and sci-fi modeling. Alright, the next channel is Polygon Runway, and Polygon Runway is really good at creating these small, low-poly isometric scenes. And I really love his style of artwork, I really love the little kind of stylized, cute isometric scenes that he creates. So if you like creating this type of artwork, then definitely check out Polygon Runway. Alright, the next channel is Brandon's Drawings, and on this channel, Brandon has has many short videos covering specific tools, different workflows, and Blender features. So if you're wanting to learn or get a better grasp of a very specific tool or feature in Blender, then I highly recommend checking out his short videos. And he's very clear in his videos and he really explains things quite well. And as well as that, he also has some fundamental videos like shading for beginners and sculpting for beginners. Alright, the next channel is Kaizen, and Kaizen
Ryzen has some really great beginner fundamental videos, and as well as that, he also has some fun entertainment videos. So he has some great videos geared more for beginners, like texture painting for beginners, also how to create professional materials, and using constraints in Blender. But then as well as that, he also has some fun entertainment videos, like creating his room in 3D. So definitely check out his channel. The next channel is Derek Elliott, and Derek Elliott has lots of product rendering videos. So if you're wanting to learn how to create 3D product renders and product animations, then definitely check out Derek Elliott's channel. And the next channel is Southern Shoddy, and Southern Shoddy specializes in creating character and animation tutorials. And I really like his character and animation style because he creates these really cute stylized claymation style characters. And he does have some tutorials on how to animate and make it look like a claymation, and he also has some tips for claymation shading. And the next channel is Grant Abbott, and Grant Abbott has a large variety of tutorials. So he covers sculpting, stylized texture painting, animation tutorials, character tutorials, and low poly scene tutorials. And Grant Abbott also just passed 500,000, so congrats, that is a huge milestone. So if you're wanting to get better at modeling, or if you're wanting to learn how to create low poly or stylized art, then definitely check out his channel. And the next channel is CG Boost, and on this channel they have many in-depth videos to improve your work as a 3D artist. They also have some really great videos on creating realistic renders. Now CG Boost has a lot of great courses on their YouTube channel, but on their website they also have a bunch of very high quality detailed courses on specific topics. Now I do have an affiliate link to their courses in the description, so if you purchase any of the courses through my link then I will earn a small commission, so that's a great way to help support me. However, I'm not just recommending them because I have an affiliate link in the description, I can highly recommend their courses, all the courses which I've checked out out on their website are very detailed and very thorough and very high quality. So if you really want to improve your Blender skills in a certain area, then definitely check out one of their Blender courses. Alright, so that is it for the Blender channels. However, at the end of the video, I also wanted to give a shout out to two other YouTube channels. So Copper Star Tunes is my younger brother's YouTube channel. And on his channel, he makes really fun 2D animation videos. And his videos are always really fun to watch, and I always find myself laughing watching his videos. And his channel art usually looks like this. However, right now he's doing a copper's 12 days of Christmas where every day for 12 days he's posting these Christmas animations so definitely check these out these are really fun videos to watch during the holiday season and he also has some really fun story time videos and some other animation skits and just some other really fun videos so definitely check out my younger brother's YouTube channel copper star tunes I really wanted to give him a shout out to help his channel grow because he makes some really great videos and finally at the end of the video I wanted to let you know about my new personal YouTube channel which I've created. So I've created a personal YouTube channel called Ryan King where I'm going to post personal videos just so that I can post any personal or non-Blender related videos if I want to. So I really have no idea how often I'm going to post. I may only post a few videos a year or I may start posting regular videos. I really don't know. And so the first video that I have is a video talking about how I manage my digital eye strain. So if you don't know, I've actually dealt with a lot of digital eye strain because I'm a 3D artist and so I work on the computer for my job, and so I spend many hours every day working on the computer creating these Blender tutorials. And so over the past two to three years, I've dealt with a lot of eye strain. However, I've figured out many different things which help to improve my eye strain, and so I wanted to make a video sharing all of my tips on how I manage my digital eye strain. Because in this modern world which we live in, so many people look at screens so, for so many hours, and so I'm sure there are many other people who deal with this problem as well. But I've learned so many things over the past few years and so I wanted to share my experience so I put this video out there so if you're dealing with digital eye strain when you're working on a computer or looking at screens then there are many tips in this video which I'm sure will help you out and as I film this video, we're getting towards the end of the year, so Christmas is almost here, so Merry Christmas everyone, and I hope you also have a great new year. So that will wrap it up for this video, so thank you all for watching.